Okay, so hey guys, welcome back. So in the next couple of parts, we're going to go ahead and uh, start finishing off this main piece and probably also go ahead and move on to the door or this top panel. So in the last part, we went ahead and started working on um, this main front piece. And in this part, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning this up and making it look like um, the actual thing. So in the last part, we went ahead and started um, blocking out the main shape. And now we're going to go ahead and um, clean this up a little bit more so we can um, finish this piece off. So let's go ahead and have a look at some um, fundamental changes that we need to make before we can go ahead and move on with this piece. So the first thing that um, we're going to go through is the edge flow around this piece here, um, or this edge where we made this cut. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of these um, supporting edges that we put in last time just to see how this thing would um, go ahead and smooth. So let's double click and let's get rid of, actually let's leave that one in. Let's go ahead and get rid of these inner ones. Okay. And yeah, let's get rid of these as well for now. So I'm just getting rid of these two as well. So the first thing that we sort of need to have a look at is if I wanted to support this edge, okay? So this this last one. So it's moved properly. Let's see what happens. So let's go ahead and add in the loop here. And as you can see, it goes all the way up around this and that's not really exactly what we want around this end so what we want here is um, this loop to go up here and around down okay so what we're going to do is get rid of that and the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is actually go into our side view and if we and to sort out this edge flow problem as well um, we're going to go ahead and select all these verts on the end and we're actually going to go ahead and push this in because if you notice, um, there's actually a, a sort of curve here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and push this back in. The easiest way is we're going to go ahead and select these faces on the back. And we're going to go ahead and extrude them out. And this will also help us to um, reorganize our edge flow around this end. So I'm just going to extrude that out like so. And now if you have a look and we go ahead and add in a loop across here. As you can see, that will go around the way we want it. Okay, so that works perfectly fine for us. Now let's have a look if we add one across here. Okay, so if you add one here, that works perfectly fine as well. It goes around the inner edge and comes back down. Let's have a look at this side. That works perfectly fine as well. Now let's have a look what happens if we add one that we want to support the outer edge of this curve, okay? So let's go ahead and add one here. And if you notice, this goes all the way down here. Okay, but if we add one across here, it will go around all the way up there and then come back down here where we extruded it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and sort this sort of issue out. And it's very common, um, so it's a good practice to go ahead and do that. Now, if you have a look on the um, top side here, we actually haven't filled in this hole either. I just noticed this earlier, but we'll go ahead and worry about that later on as well. So let's go ahead and first sort this issue out here that we have. So these edges are fine. What we need to sort out is this corner here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is deselect all these edges and go to my vertex mode just so I can zoom in here properly. So probably the easiest way is basically we just need to make a cut across here and that cut, instead of making a triangle here, it needs to make a, a quad, okay? So probably the easiest way that we can do this is if this is the first time you're sort of doing this sort of thing, it might be um, really confusing at first, but you'll get, um, you'll get the hang of it, so don't worry about it too much, okay? So what I did is I added an edge that goes all the way across here, down there, and an edge that goes all the way across there, just so we don't have to manually cut that all the way across. But now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and delete 
um, the bits that we don't need after we merge these words together. So the edges that we don't need across here we'll get rid of, um, but it's easier to do it this way. So let's go ahead and grab our merge vertex tool. And I'm going to go ahead and merge this vertex down. Okay. And then go ahead and grab that word and merge it to the right. And as you can see, this will give us that sort of bevel that we need or edge loop across here that we need. Now, if you notice, now we don't really need this edge anymore. That goes around there. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And also we don't need this edge anymore that goes around. Now if you notice, if I double click that, it will go all the way around and that's because um, we haven't done it this side. So we need to do the same thing that we did on this side, on that side as well. So let's go ahead and do that before I go ahead and delete this edge. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and come across here. So now let's go ahead and add in an edge loop across here as well. like so and then let's go ahead and merge this down like we did earlier so use our merge vertex tool I'm going to merge this one down and this one to the left <coughs> and now we don't need this edge loop anymore so we can go ahead and delete that and also now if I double click this if you notice it doesn't touch this edge that we actually want to keep it go it just goes the way around that we need it to delete so let's go ahead and delete that as well Okay, so now you see that we got a nice edge flow going across here as well. So that works perfectly fine. Now if you wanted to add in another edge loop going across here, we'd have to do the same thing. Um, unless we add it on the inner side of this. So if you notice, if I add one here, that goes around the way you want it to. If I add one across here, it will go down. I mean across, okay. So if you wanted to add another supporting edge, we would have to do the same thing. But anyway, now that that's sorted, um, this should smooth pretty well. Um, so the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is, if you go ahead and smooth this, you can see that especially up here, our smoothing is pretty horrible, and that's because we haven't added it in, haven't added it in the edges that we need. But first, let's go ahead and um, sort this out really quick. This hole that we have. I'm just going to select the edge so I can zoom in easier. I'm going to select these two edges. Okay, and there are many ways to fill in this hole, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. So I'm just going to extrude that edge across, leave a little bit of a gap so I can merge the vertices. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and merge them together. If I find the right one, and we're going to have an issue here. Oh no, we don't, it's fine. So I'm just going to add that up there. Let's merge these. Oops. Merge them. And I think I added them in a bit too close, but it should be fine. Okay, so that should do the trick. And now this middle edge loop that we've gotten rid of, we're going to have to add that in quick as well. That we don't have going across here. So let's just go and add in insert edge loop tool, add one in the middle. I think we added this in uh, just so it will smooth nicer. So let's go back up. Come on, how tall is this thing? Okay, and now we're just going to have to merge that bird together. So merge vertex tool. Like so, and you don't have to really worry about that these are not straight too much, um, it should still be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and sort this curve out here. So let's just go into our x-ray. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select that one, shift select that one, and I'm just going to drag this in a little bit more. Okay, so if you notice, our, our curve is actually pretty good here. Um, we're sort of having this um, same curving issue here, but if you smooth it, um, it should be pretty good. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and push this back and then extrude it out again like we did on the bottom. So then we get a different um, edge flow going again. I think it should be a better solution to this. Let's 
So let's go ahead and do that. And that might cause us some um, issues actually. So we might leave that as it is for now. You can go, actually it's probably easier just to go ahead and add in a loop here and drag it up just a bit. Doesn't have to match our reference perfectly. Okay, so I should do it. And now what I'm be mainly worried about is this here, which is pretty horrendous. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Okay, so when we go ahead and smooth, as you see, what happens is um because we don't have any supporting edges around this corner, it starts moving it all the way across because this is like a really long face. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is because the main shape is pretty much okay. I'm just going to go ahead and add in a couple of edges. Let's just check and make sure that this is fine. So our curve is pretty much there. So if we add in a couple of supporting edges here and here, do the same thing on the bottom. And we should really break this long face up as well. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to add in multiple edge loops, probably like four maybe. Add that in there. Now if you smooth this, as you can see this will keep its shape a lot nicer and the curve will be a lot smoother as well. Okay, so that's pretty much there on the reference. It's, it matches up um, pretty much the way we need it to. Um, let's just have a look see how the smoothing looks. Okay, so that moves, smooths pretty much fine. Okay, so that looks great. Now what we're going to tackle next is, let's just make sure that we have all the edge loops that we need. And as we can see here, we don't. <coughs> and it's a bit of a mystery why that didn't go through all the way, but let's just go ahead and fix that. So just use our interactive split. And cut this up there. Okay, and let's just make sure yeah, it happened on the inside as well. So let's go ahead and fix that as well. You might not have it. Um, I don't know why I do. Uh, that edge loop should have gone all the way up. Okay, so that looks pretty good for what we need. Okay, so that's great. Um, I think we can call this piece, or well, this main piece, pretty much um, finished. Let's just make sure that we done everything on this side as well, and I think we did. Okay, so that looks great. So let's go ahead and um, turn on our other pieces. And also, this one, we haven't added in the supporting edges, so let's go ahead and do that now. So just use our insert edge loop tool. Oops, and make sure we go ahead and reset this. Okay, so add one here, add one there. Now let's just close this so I've got a bit more space to work with. Add one there and do the same thing on the back. I mean, we could delete the back faces because we're not really ever going to see them, but for the time being, it should be fine. We're not too worried about. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry guys, my uh, recorder just crashed. So let's go ahead and finish this edge. Add one in the middle here to break up that long face and it should smooth perfect. Okay, so it looks good. It's an isolate. Let's move, everything's smooth. Everything looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And I think this piece is gonna have to be a lot harder than it actually is. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and add in another edge loop here. One in the middle. And let's go ahead and delete this one and move it up a bit. Or you could use the slide edge tool, but for me this is faster. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. And hopefully that will make this a little bit sharper for us. Oops. And I'm just going to go ahead and add another one in here. See how that looks. This is still really, really smooth, which is a bit strange. I 
But for now, I think this should do the trick. It also feels like as if, um, it's, oh no, there we go. This is too smooth. <laughs> Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and add a loop for this guy. I'm just going to add another one in here. So this will, um, smooth a little bit nicer. Could probably go ahead and do one with the inner in as well. Um, and that should be fine for now. Okay, so it looks pretty good. I'm still not um, super happy with the way um, this piece is lining up, but we will probably go ahead and sort it out a little bit later. So <clears throat> now that this piece is somewhat finished, uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this over really quick. And then we can go ahead and move on to a new part. Um, and hopefully we've done all the bits with this piece that we need to. I mean, if I have a look on the top reference, so if I just add this to this layer as well, just to make sure. So yeah, this is where that top piece cuts out. And the only tricky piece really, the reason why I'm double checking is because if, if you have a look at this top panel here, this is actually a cutout for the button, but this is actually one piece for the side panel. So that's why I'm checking because I thought it might be this um, front piece that has a little tricky part in it like this one, but it's actually the sides. So make sure that we pay attention to that. So yeah, we are doing great. Let's go ahead and un isolate and let's go ahead and duplicate this over before we've wrapped this part up. So what I'm going to do is I'll just make sure that these inner edges are deleted. And they are apart from here. So lucky that we checked. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of these faces in here. And then we should be able to go ahead and just duplicate this over nicely and then merge the words together. So let's just check the top again. And again, we only need to get it um, cut here. So let's go ahead and duplicate this guy over. Come out of isolate, control D, and then it's going to be X minus one, like so. Okay. So like both of them go to mesh combine. And go to edit delete all by type history. Let's go ahead and isolate this guy and have a look in our outliner. Get rid of these um, nodes that we don't need. Isolate this guy and close this. <clears throat> and now we just go and merge these words together. Okay, so it should be a pretty close, um, a very close merge. So let's go ahead and select them verts. Come in here so you can see if this is going to merge properly, merge vertices and give it like a really small offset, probably like not, not, not one. Okay, and hopefully the, the trick, we can check it by smoothing it. So if there is some freakiness going on um, here, then that means it didn't merge properly. But if there isn't any, then we're fine. Okay, so just check the bottom as well. That looks fine, it all merged perfectly together. Okay, so we have this piece finished as well. Um, in the next part, we're gonna go ahead and probably move on to the door and stuff. Um, I mean, we could move on to the mesh um, and have the complete front finished. Um, I'll see, we might go through the mesh. However, think about that one. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next part.